Hi everyone, I'm Bridget. You may recognize me from the children's room at the Maslin Public Library. Fall is the perfect time of year to sit on your front porch, read an epic adventure. So tuck in and join me on this week's Bookmarked Adventures of Halloween. October is one of my favorite times of the year. There are so many colors to explore in the world around us. Trees have been changing and there's a crispness in the air perfect for either being outdoors or cuddling under a blanket with some hot chocolate and a good book. This week's video will only be introducing picture books, but you can go to our webpage under the online resources tab for the full book list of suggestions. Not all of them have to do with Halloween. Some are retold fairy tales for adults, mysteries, and a couple of family-friendly Halloween movies. This week, I'm introducing picture books because I feel disappointed when I hear people say, oh, you're too old for those. The truth is some of our picture books have reading levels of sixth to even ninth grade. I know quite a few adults that prefer the short simplicity of picture books, and the illustrations can be a great way to appreciate art. They go through the stories, but a lot of the time they have a story within the story. Picture books are a great way to take adventures away from reality when your life is too busy to fall into a novel. There are many picture books that you can finish while waiting for the water to boil up at dinner time. They get to be a comfort to draw kids together with the parents or grandparents at bedtime, or if they aren't feeling well, even if they're feeling a little bit blue. In The Itty Bitty Witch, she runs into feeling blue when she goes to school and the other kids are mean to her. Because of her size, they think that she can't be as good at things as they are. At first, she doubts herself and she tries to do things exactly like everyone else. She even gets a little mad when everyone starts to make fun of her and her name by calling her Itty Bitty instead of Betty. Her creativity to solve problems and the strength that she has to keep going helps her use her size and be proud of who she is. It's a beautiful story with amazing eye-catching illustrations. Really awesome if you have a little one who could use a confidence boost on being proud of who they are. My next book is great in showing that every choice you make shapes who you are and you should be proud of that. The Halloween tree is about a tree that's supposed to be a Christmas tree, but he really doesn't want to be. So he does everything in his power not to be chosen. Over time, the tree farm goes away and a neighborhood is built. The grubby tree with twisted limbs, strange knobs, and no leaves or pine needles becomes an adventure spot for the neighborhood kids. As the seasons change, this grubby tree realizes how much these kids' imagination and playing makes him happy. But is he too far set in his grumpy, lumpy, no leaves way for the parents to appreciate how awesome he is? And can the kids' imag imagination be used to save him? This book is great and can be read any time of the year, but in my opinion, anywhere from late fall up to Christmas is the perfect time to check it out for yourself. I know Halloween is viewed in many different ways, but to me, it's a way to be creative and let your imagination fly free on adventures. In Trick or Treat, the kids make believe about being pirates. They encounter fun things on their journey around the neighborhood. Trick or Treating. I love that this book tells kids that it's okay to pretend and be creative with the things around them. You can explore being a scientist, veterinarian, or circus performer. You can pretend to be the princess that your parents always call you. Maybe, like this book, you want to dress up as a pirate, then later your dream of sailing in the open sea makes you the captain of a ship. So explore and be creative and see if your choices help form who you are and what you'll be when you grow up. When trying to choose just a few books to feature, I wonder how many of you know what a vegetarian is. How about a vegetarian vampire? Sounds kind of silly, right? Well, in Once Upon a Time, Dagmar is not your normal vampire. He prefers garden vegetables and candy. This book had my daughter laughing out loud when Dagmar's garden just didn't grow fast enough and he ran out of candy. Then he learned about trick-or-treating, so he tried to make a costume. Can you imagine a vampire trying to blend in, dressing up for Halloween? I mean, come on, he's already in the costume, right? Anyway, Dagmar may be successful in getting his candy while trick-or-treating, but when he realizes all the other ghosts and ghouls on Halloween aren't real monsters like him, he gets scared. 
If you want to find out if he was too scared to hold on to all of that candy as he ran away in fright or if he even needed to be scared in the first place, go ahead and reserve Once Upon a Time. So sometimes that happens. You may run away in fear, but what scared you might not have been bad after all. In The Psychop Switch and the Heebie Jeebies, she runs away from her biggest fear, children. She creates a plan to scare the kids off for good, but each time she spies on them, they are having fun and no one is scared. Then she gets herself caught in one of her own traps, where she is forced to meet the children who call themselves the heebie-jeebies. They are kind of like the Boy and Girl Scouts, but they go around helping others get past their fears to collect their badges. They were there to help the Cyclops switch so she wouldn't be afraid of the children anymore. She realized that just because they're different from her doesn't make them scary, which is super awesome, but that's just the first half of the book. And the very last line was so sweet and can be turned into great advice for any little one that's afraid and needs just a tiny bit of encouragement to make some new friends. I don't know about you, but I know that a lot of people have fears and that's okay. Some fears you grow out of or you get past and some are new ones that you didn't know you had until suddenly, bam, then you're running from tiny spiders in the bathroom. Anyway, keep your chin up for this Halloween. Don't be scared or discouraged. I know that you guys are awesome just as these books are. I hope that you get a good book suggestion and you'll check back next Wednesday at 11 a.m. to see what I'll offer up next. Don't forget to check out the Masson Public Library's homepage for upcoming programs and go see the full book list of suggestions under the online resources tab. You just might find one that you want to reserve. Your next adventure is just a page away. Bye for now.